Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Adhouse and today, following on from our previous three, the, two videos theme colour wise, um, I am still playing with these metallics. They are gorgeous and as I said in the previous video, it reminded me of a power shell. The only colour that was missing out of there from the power shell was a pinky purpley. So I pulled out my berry metallic from Deco Art and adding that to the bronze, the crystal green, uh, Reeves silver and then I'm going to put in the, uh, the thalo blue and what magic can this create. So all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water and oh <laughs> what's that thing around its neck Michelle um it's my new invention to stop the lumps coming through Floetrol tends to get a bit lumpy as you get to the bottom of the bottle so I got a piece of um, stocking pulled the neck tie that you know that seals it on off put the stocking over and put that back on again and that just holds it there and then when I pour it it gets strained as I pour how's it getting easier than that so um my new tip tip for the day <laughs> so let's get this party started um oh and I use Durex this because it's 100% amethicone silicon. So this is a 16 inch by 16 inch canvas and what I am going to be doing is um, putting white on it and then um, so I'll have the white and then I'm going to do the spiral pour like I did last time and stretch it out into a kind of a hopefully into a power shell shape so target is to have a nice big power shell shape on here and with a white background let's see if that shows up or let's see if something completely different shows up because <laughs> you know that's the thing with this method of painting you actually don't have much control which is kind of cool are you willing to be out of control, out of definition, out of form, structure and significance? <laughs> what if being out of control was actually okay? Are you willing to have that, be that, choose that? Um, what's next? Oh, Tommy's going Google Google. We've got the green. Uh, do, 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 do. Go pink berry. I'm just running ah down the inside, not the outside, Michelle. Come on, get it together. My stomach's gurgling, it must be getting nearly lunchtime. Uh, so then we're gonna go with the green. And then the bronze. And last but not least, the phthalo blue. And that's gone down the inside, the outside too. What's right about this? I'm not getting sloppy joe. All right. Let's move that over to the side. Let's get rid of most of that uh, zoom you back out again so you can see what I'm doing okay so in as my base white I have found the cheapest semi-gloss acrylic in Rotorua this is from Bunnings. It's 
four liters um everything else kind of ranges the cheapest is forty dollars $80, $150 for four litres. So just so that you get an indication of just how cheap that is. Again, I've mixed it with Floetrol and water. And we're going to get a nice big covering. on the canvas it's quite a big canvas really a 16 by 16 so yay all right so now let's get to the beauty stuff the real kick-ass pouring stuff Holly, how much fun can we have today with pouring so there we have it there's our can and i'm going to start in the middle ish and just little spirals spiral 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 aeroplane going overhead and a drop over in the corner how's it getting any better now which direction should we go you tell me let's just take it out A little bit in all directions to start with and see which way it would like to go I don't think it's going to end up much like a power shell to be honest but that's okay see this is that thing I was telling you about if I had too much paint it just kind of slides around. So, a power shell is sort of oval. Some of the colours are sliding faster than others. It's kind of cool. It's looking more like um, a clamshell. <laughs> I don't think it's going to look like any sort of shell at the end of this. This is really interesting to see what it's doing. What the blues doing and see it's just sliding around the canvas whereas the last one didn't <laughs> okay I'm not liking these large tentacles up the top you can't actually see half of what I'm doing Turning into a jellyfish. What's right about this I'm not getting? What did you want to be painting? I assumed you were going to be a power shell, but you're not looking like it. What would you like to be painting? I do like the little blue halo that we've got though. That's pretty cool.
and I like these blue lines on the side. So let's see, what would this like to do now? Where would it like to go? Would it like to stay where it is? Would it like to go anywhere? Well, it's definitely not a power shell. I can tell you that much. Let's see if I can brighten this up for you. There we go, that's better. So, it's not really moving anymore. I think it's happy where it is. So, my next question is, if it's not going to be a power shell, what would it like to be? That blue is still spreading. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder if it would like some tentacles. <laughs> um couple of videos back I was playing with alcohol and I really was quite pleased with the way it did its thing so I'm wondering so painting truth would you like me to apply some alcohol yes no yes yes okay let's get the alcohol Now, what I just realized was I had the projection that the, or the conclusion that the alcohol should go in the blue, because in the blue, on the other one, on the test one, it did really well. And because it's spreading so well, it's just like, tentacles. So, but let's ask the painting first. Painting, would you like it in the blue? Yes. No, yes. Okay, cool. So how many drops? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three is actually the lightest. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. One, three. Two, no, three, one, two, three. Yes, that's light. Okay, cool. Now, I've got a dropper. I've got alcohol in the dropper. One, two, Oops, that was a double drop. I hope that doesn't do anything too. Bizarre. Hmm. Interesting. This one hasn't come out at all. It's there, you can see it, 
that it's not coming out the side. Not getting it coming. There it goes. That's more what I wanted. Is that enough? Yes. Yep. That was definitely light. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> I do like that effect. <laughs> it's so cool. I've got trees growing out. It became so organic. All right, so uh, now I've got alcohol on my painting. Should I put a torch to it and see what happens? Ah! <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you've ever caught the alcohol in your painting or light. How does it get any better than that? Let's see. So I'm just going to stay really, really, really up high. Really, really, really up high. Just inviting any alcohol that's in that paint, and not any alcohol, any um, silicon to rise up, create some cells. Also got to get any air bubbles out as well. Already got a lot of cells in the center there, so I'm not too concerned if nothing else shows up. to come play there's a few little cells come through in here um, there's some popping through the blue to create these dots I'm not overly fussed with but I wasn't overly fussed with that white dot there either okay so it was gonna be a power shell that didn't work but it's definitely cool I definitely like it if anything, I would tilt this off a little bit more. Because I keep having my eye drawn to that. Just don't want to disturb my fractal trees. Because they're awesome. So, just tilting it very, very slightly. And it is starting to move it's really this blob of white that I want gone there it goes nearly lost the fractal tree as well Awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's get you down. Let's show you what we've got. 
because I'm liking it from here. I'm not sure how clear it is for you up there. So let's get you down. There she is. Look at that. Check out this fractal tree. It really does like look like a tree. It's got a um, a trunk and branches and it's swaying in the wind. <laughs> ah. Oh, how does it get any better than this? Look at those beautiful layers and there's a few cells in there as well. Ah, oh, yummy. Yummy. As we come up to the top to the tree, yay! Oh look, there's a love heart. Pretty. But I do like this centerpiece. Look at this centerpiece. Isn't that just scrumptious? Coming out to that other tree that nearly fell off the side of the world. Well, some of it did. Mm -hmm. But I do really like these cells that are in the center. They're yummy. And we come out to the bronze again. <laughs> and that halo, that blue halo is so cool. I love it. Check this out, guys. Try and get my fingers out of the, the shot. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Hee, <laughs> hee, How does it get any better than this? And you know what? Everything except the blue and the white are metallics. So that is just going to absolutely shimmer and shine and sh dance in the sunlight. It's just so cool. So here we go, guys. Are you ready to be out of control, out of definition? Be willing to allow your paintings or, sorry about the light thing, doing weird stuff. Come and join us by subscribing to this channel. You will help us reach the thousand subscriber. And once we've hit that, we will be running and unleashing your creativity. Telecall live stream on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. And if you're keen for that class, Register in the link in the description below and we will let you know the date, the time and how to get live and be with us. So you can ask your questions about what's keeping you from being as creative as you know you truly can be. So thanks for joining me here at Mickey Art and what else is possible when you're being you, choosing for you and creating a totally different reality. Cheers. Bye.